fight for. No justice, no peace. Let a nigga come through your neighborhood. You gonna try to kill him just for getting lost. White boy do something to you nigga, you bitch ass nigga get sense. And now y'all just wanna vandalize shit. Well just start vandalizing when it's black on black nigga. Stop killing niggas and just destroy buildings. Go spray paint some buildings. Yeah, mighty fact, don't even shoot up a nigga's mama house. Egg it. Yeah, that's how y'all were doing to the police. They just egg it, throw stuff at it. But don't do, y'all didn't shoot bullets. Y'all didn't shoot bullets at the police, so don't shoot bullets at niggas. When niggas do something to niggas, don't y'all hurt no more niggas. Go do something to a building. Go break some windows, bust some bottles, because that's what y'all do when the police just go to throwing rocks. <laughs> y'all even be trying to hit them people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, y'all don't even be trying to hit the police, y'all just be throwing, just be throwing rocks, bitch ass nigga, say, but Steven Jackson, stack five, fentanyl Floyd is dead, and you done went to serving Muslims, since you over there wearing them kufi hats, when y'all go blow up something? Yeah, when y'all gonna take some more airplanes out the air and run them into some buildings? Because you niggas with them dashikis in them, <laughs> you dashiki nigga, <laughs> y'all ain't good for nothing with the assalamu alaikum. Y'all ain't good for nothing but just online looking like assalamu alaikum, but y'all ain't about shit. Y'all, you, you, you very inactive. You done stopped the, uh, what you, what, what you, you had a cause at first, stack five, and now you ain't got now another motherfucking cause, nigga. Fentanyl Floyd is dead, and the best thing to happen to George is for him to die the way he died. Because if that bitch would have died any other kind of way, wasn't no life insurance money. Hit that baby, that little bitty girl he got, who said, my daddy changed the world. Your daddy ain't changed shit. <laughs> Your daddy ain't changed shit. <laughs> you bullshit. <laughs> my daddy changed the world. No, he didn't. <laughs> ah, George Floyd ain't changed since that five, and neither have you, big old tall bitch. Yeah, yeah, you might well go back trying to play basketball. Go coach some high school basketball, nigga. You might do better in life. <laughs> and I ain't never liked basketball playing that, nigga. I used to fuck y'all girls in school. Yeah, I used to bully the niggas that played sports. I was a little bitty nigga that can tell everybody what to do growing up. And I did. I was a mean, little hateful little motherfucker. And I was a bully. And I bullied tall niggas. All y'all laughing in here for what? Because it's funny? Yeah, it's funny. Yeah, fentanyl Floyd. Yeah, nigga full of that fentanyl downtown trying to pass a fake $20 bill. And he got an NBA playing brother. Now he say, listen, he couldn't get $20 from nobody. They got 20 million out of his ass. I bet he mad in the motherfucker. Shit, God, how they get 20 million and I couldn't get $20 on her? I done come to him and I'm a millionaire in him. Man, I, this shit ain't fair. God, I want to go back to earth. Boy, let's say your ass up here. Let that baby enjoy that 20 million. I'll send you back down there. You go fuck off the whole 20 million, George. Just stay on up here with me. Yeah, just stay on up here with me, Georgie. <laughs> say, say, where did George Floyd come to Chicago? Nigga ain't shit in Chicago. What the fuck I'm on? Don't nobody go to Chicago. Don't nobody. Dirk, ain't Dirk ain't in Chicago. Ain't nobody that's having money in Chicago. So what the fuck I'm gonna go where there's a bunch of broke motherfuckers on the block for? Mad at one another cause a nigga live two streets down the way and everybody broke. I'm not coming nowhere like that there. Bunch of broke motherfuckers grew up together playing football together, basketball together, going to elementary school together, and they arch enemies. Nah, I'm not going nowhere where it's a bunch of stupid ass black motherfuckers like that and they not vibrant. It's vibrant in Atlanta. Say in Atlanta, you see niggas riding around in Bentleys and, and Maybach trucks and, and all kind of shit. When you go to Chicago, all them niggas walking. Yeah, them Chicago niggas walking. Them niggas ain't even got cars. I ain't bullshit. Say, I ain't seen a Chicago nigga take a picture next to a car. All them niggas is block walking nigga. Tennis shoe feet wearing ass nigga. Yeah, yeah, them niggas ain't got no vehicle. So, no, I'm not going nowhere where niggas ain't got cars. Every nigga walking with a gun. Nigga, please. No wonder them niggas killing each other. They can't get away. Niggas just can't ride and just just get an escape. So, no, Chicago is a beautiful city for tourists. Listen, I'm 45 years old. I ain't never heard a nigga say, let's go to Chicago. It's cold up there. 
Yeah, it's cold up there, and, and the black people are not the majority. We from the South. We like niggas, and we like seeing a bunch of black people. We don't see Italians. We don't see Puerto Ricans. We don't see none of that. White boy, Mexican, nigga. And, 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 and life is basic like this here. Having to try to understand a Latin king and a, a black gangster disciple and a Spanish gangster disciple and the difference between men, that shit is too complicated. And everybody po. That's the thing about it. Having to understand the dynamics of Chicago and everybody broke and doing bad in a motherfucker. So I'm, all their kids get free lunch. Man, my kids ain't never been able to qualify for a free lunch. No, no, everybody, everybody around you getting government assistance. I'm not coming nowhere like that. Nigga coming to Chicago, everybody get free lunch. No wonder they mad. Fuck you talking about ain't nobody getting no proper nutritional meals. <laughs> no, 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 everybody poor. They don't have no black community that's vibrant. They don't have no black businesses. They don't have no black children that's excelling. So why would I go anywhere where black people are not excelling? I don't want to see that shit, nigga. Niggas killing niggas. 